I'm Robert Dow, president of the Palm Beach County Classroom Teachers Association. Excuse my appearance. They call this acute leukemia. I call it an ugly leukemia. I thought I'd been exhausted this entire last year because of all the changes taking place in the school district. I helped organize hundreds of teachers to help you understand we needed to keep United Healthcare, a campaign which I believe has just saved my life. The fiasco of the Gates Foundation grant took endless hours and the upsetting of the entire structure of education in Palm Beach County and working with the parents to bring your attention to that left me 600 emails behind by the holiday break. I caught up with the emails, but my exhaustion continued, so I got a second opinion. I discovered I had a systemic problem. Before my first day ever as a teacher in Palm Beach County, you sent me to a conference in the Glades where I was told this district has a systemic problem, a literacy gap, an achievement gap. Five of you were on this board at that time. And of course, we know we still have the problem. It has grown the entire time I have been teaching, the entire time you have been on the board and praising this district endlessly, it has grown. Shame on all of us. When I discovered I had a systemic problem, let me tell you what I did not do. I did not blame the doctors who had previously treated me. I did not put on makeup and admire myself in the mirror. I did not deny it or hide it or cover it up in any way. I did not manipulate statistics to make it look like I was improving. I did not compare myself to others and tell you how well I was doing. I found the practitioners who knew the most about it and paid them well to work on it and they aggressively attacked the problem. And that seems to be working. You didn't do that here. And you're still not doing that here. You have allowed this district to divert attention from the problem, to manipulate the data, to make it look like things were improving, to shift students around so their scores wouldn't count and then you sat back and you said, Oh, look at how good we are. Then when it all came out, this district blamed the teachers. The same teachers you have allowed to lose salary and benefits compared to the rest of the state for the entire time I've been teaching. You are buying bells and whistles and band-aids instead of attacking the problem. This hundred million dollars in stimulus money is being thrown away without a nickel going to your employees and you meekly sit there and let it happen. How can you do that to the children of Palm Beach County? How can you do that to the teachers? And some of you mislabel the systemic problem and call it racism. How easy! You just allowed the district to shamelessly make this a racial issue implying somehow that the system is racist, the teachers are racist, and that makes it easy for every one of us black or white, yellow or brown, to blame someone else. We don't actually have to do anything because we are not racists. And how could we cure the racism of those other people? The problem is chronic poverty. Combinations of economic, spiritual, social, linguistic, and intellectual poverty. There are unspoken values associated with poverty, especially long-term poverty, that do not work in schools because our schools are based on middle-class values. Those values must be demonstrated and taught to those who do not have them. And yet there is no effort to train our teachers in what the values of poverty are and what we must do to give our children another choice, that additional set of values that will help them succeed in school, in the wider community, and in life. No training, and yet we blame the teachers. And the problem is the philosophy that you have endorsed and lauded for the last decade, a philosophy that promotes programs over people, technology over teachers, and statistics over students. And to make the measurement of success, a single test score. And the press and the parents and the public bought it big time. And the problem is, you have pushed the pay scale back to where some teachers had to choose between their medicine and their mortgage. 
All this decade, you stripped them of automatic step increases and paid them each year less than half the percentage of the state increase to education. Leading to this, a fourth year teacher makes $100 a year more than a first year teacher. A 10 year teacher, $4,000 more than a first year teacher. Meaning, 20 years from now, a teacher with 30 years experience will make at least $10,000 less than a teacher with 30 years experience now. You think they don't notice? At a district meeting, one young teacher poignantly stated that she gets to come to school every day and love and nurture your children. But if she remains a teacher, she'll never be able to afford her own. Where's the incentive for bright young people to enter the field? We all know that these kids do not get into teaching for the money, but it's increasingly why they get out. After waging a vigorous campaign to give your teachers nothing last year, you shifted the numbers and gave them 2%. Broward teachers got very vocal and very angry and ended up with 75% more. Dade already signed this year for a step and a 1.8% increase. All three districts to the south of us pay thousands more than you do for a beginning teacher. And then you sit here and talk about teacher quality. Here, you did the budget this year without consideration of teacher raises at all. The superintendent has said it may take years to restore the trust and rebuild morale that the changes you approved have cost this year. And yet there is money. Much more money than last year flying all over the place. And you publicly state time and again there is nothing for teachers. You have millions that you saved from teachers retiring at the top and coming in at the bottom. Millions in the millage you voted for. Millions more from the state for the increase of 2,000 students this year in Palm Beach County. Tens of millions in stimulus money. And tens of millions more in your rainy day fund. Teachers know this. And yet the superintendent never backed off the year-long public campaign to convince you and the press and the parents and the public there is nothing for teachers. The poor excuse of what may happen in the future is no excuse to not reward your teachers now. I am taking care of myself the best I can right now, even though some of the scenarios moving forward are pretty grim. Take care of your employees. If it is the last thing that I ever say to you, honor these professionals. Trust them. Support them. Facilitate their work. And if you say they have made you the highest rated urban district in the state, pay them like it. Restore the trust. Restore the morale. Restore their pay. Well, let's all hope I get to restore my hair. <laughs>